What do you do in winter out here in Northeast Alberta? You found a way to fix that problem, didn't oh, you? Oh, yeah. So you call this a mount? Yeah. Yes. A horn mount, yeah. A horn mount. So you're mounting these things and you're making them beautiful pieces of art. Yeah. Why? Look at the comparison. That bull was born in 1958. And we were able to bring him back from black and reveal all that hidden color. There's some connection folks have with the animals. The amount of people that have, that have dealt with it say, my grandpa had a set that hung in the house. Or, you know, my uncle had a set, he always hung his cowboy hat on it. That's what propelled us for the first six months was those people that wanted a set because of the memories behind it. And that's pretty cool, you know, they're not gonna end up in a, in a garden shed somewhere in, in 10 years after they're gonna get passed down potentially from generation to generation, right? So it's not just, you know, horns on a wall. No. There's a story with each one of these, these mounts, isn't yeah. there? Like uh, the gentleman that brought me that set, it was his great grandfather's bull. That mount there came from the neighbor. It was one of his favorite cows. She was born on his place and died on his place. The amount of pride he had in his handful of longhorn cows was pretty cool. Do people still breed longhorn cows? They're hard to find in Alberta. You don't see them around. And when you do, a lot of people are running them just because they love longhorn cattle. It's definitely not for the profit. So where do you find them? That's a big question. Well, there's more than a handful of breeders in Alberta, and they've been great to deal with. And uh, the one guy, he actually sells longhorn meat. That's what he markets. Pretty cool working with a family like that. They're taking it from pasture to plate, and they're willing to sell to me. Sure help to open up something that I, I haven't seen in Alberta. To get it to end up shiny and beautiful like this when you're done, yeah. you have to go through an awful lot of work to do that. Yeah, so I take the horn from that stage, hold the caps, and after I get it off the skull, it goes through nine sands. Three of them are by hand. I take a block of wood, uh, get it so the caps will fit on at the original width that the horns were on the animal. After I sand it, then I uh, bring it up here. I measure it, cut leather to fit, and then I tool it. Uh, it takes me two nights to tool a horn block. Why do you do this? I'm sort of a sucker for sentiment and uh, just being able to bring something back and, and turn it into a product and turn it actually into something. You would have walked past that if you just would have seen that horn cap. But you see that, and it catches your eye. You want to pick it up. You want to, you want to look at the character and the grain, color. You can bring it back from black to just absolutely beautiful. You know the best part is you're doing it with your family in the house. And I love that. It's the fact that dad can be around his kids. And that's what families are all about on the farm, isn't it? Yeah, they're pretty helpful up here. I can get a set of horns mounted probably twice as quick. They're passing me whatever I need and handing me tacks and nails. And Can you do one of these mounts for us? Oh yeah. For the, for the two cowboys van? For the van? Yeah. The front of the van or in the van? In the van. Oh yeah. yeah these I, things don't go in front. No, no, no. No, that, they don't go in front. This is classy enough. And, and it'll probably not be one of those 64 inch jobbies that you've got here <laughs> because it's something for the hats. So, oh. So the hat can hang on. Oh, okay. You good with that? Yeah, I'm, that's great. <laughs> That'll be awesome, Dexter. Thank you very much, man. Thank you for telling us about the story. You know what's really important for me is the fact that you're starting a business. And you're starting a business making something. You know how needed that is in the economy that we have now? Well, yeah, I think it'd be pretty cool to have a set of Alberta Longhorns in every province or territory in Canada. So we're still a long ways away from that, but uh, we're chipping away at it.